If sharks were men, Mr. Kuna was asked by his landlady's little girl, would they be nicer to the little fishes? Certainly, he said. If sharks were men, they would build enormous boxes in the ocean for the little fish, with all kinds of food inside, both vegetable and animal. They would take care that the boxes always had fresh water, and in general, they would make all kinds of sanitary arrangements. If, for example, a little fish were to injure a fin, it would immediately be bandaged so that it would not die and be lost to the sharks before its time. So that the little fish would not become melancholy, there would be, from time to time, big water festivals, so that the small fish would not be bored. And there would be also all kinds of amusements, because cheerful fish taste much better than melancholy ones. There would, of course, also be schools in the big boxes. In these schools, the little fish would learn how to swim into the shark's jaws. They would need to know geography, for example, so that they could find the big sharks who lie idly around somewhere. They would be taught that it would be the best and most beautiful thing in the world if a little fish sacrificed itself cheerfully and that they all had to believe the sharks, especially when the latter said that they were providing for a beautiful future. The little fish would be taught that this future is assured only if they learned obedience. If sharks were men, they would, of course, also wage wars against one another in order to conquer other fish boxes and other little fish. The wars would be waged by their own little fish. They would teach their little fish that there was an enormous difference between themselves and the little fish belonging to the other sharks. Little fish are silent in quite different languages and hence find it impossible to understand one another. Each little fish that, in a war, killed a couple of other little fish, enemy ones, silent in their own language, would have a little medal made of seaweed pinned to it and be awarded the title of hero. If sharks were men, there would, of course, also be fish art. Sharks would support and help little fish artists and the other little fishes would admire them. There would also be a religion if sharks were men. It would preach that little fish only really begin to live properly in the shark's stomachs. Furthermore, if sharks were men, there would be an end to all little fish being equal, as is the case now. Some would be given important offices and be placed above the others. Those who were a little bigger would even be allowed to eat up the smaller ones. That would be altogether agreeable for the sharks, since they themselves would more often get bigger bites to eat. In short, if sharks were men, they would for the first time bring culture to the ocean. <laughs>